Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at the fillet tool in SolidWorks and come up with solutions for adding problematic fillets to models. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at the face fillet option of the fillet tool. The face fillet is useful in getting out of fillet situations because it applies a fillet between two faces and not between two edges. So I'd like to add a fillet to this corner of, a, of this model. Here, this is once again a cutaway piece of uh, customer geometry. They had modeled this as a master model and had saved this out as imported geometry and we had to work with it. So I'm going to go add a 10 millimeter fillet to these uh, two corner edges. So 10 millimeter size and I'll pick this edge and I'll pick this edge and hit OK. Well, see, we have the expected behavior of the fillet tool here, but in this corner, we see that the fillet is actually not correctly applied. The reason being is we have these two small faces here. What SolidWorks is doing is extending one of these faces to end the fillet. It's not adding the fillet correctly. So let's suppress this fillet and go ahead and try the face fillet tool. So under face fillet, note that I pick faces to apply a fillet between and not edges. So I'll pick these two large faces and we see the preview. So what face fillet is doing is knowing that I want the fillet between these two faces and uh, not on this edge, thus giving the correct result. There's one downside of the face fillet tool, so that I can only apply one fillet at a time. If I were to pick these two faces, note that I still get the single fillet. Another workaround here is using the delete face tool. And if I, under the delete and patch option, pick these two faces, SolidBricks does is extend this face and extend this face and calculate the intersection between them, removing the small faces from the model. And now I could use the standard fillet tool to get the correct result. So a couple different ways of going about it, but the face fillet tool can be tricky for getting yourself out of a modeling situation. So here the fillet is smaller than desired. I use the face fillet to pick the two faces that I'd like the fillet to be applied, and I get the correct result. Another benefit of using the face fillet tool is in situations where SolidWorks can't determine which two faces to apply a fillet to when selecting this edge, the face fillet tool can be used to select the exact face you would like the fillet applied to. So here I have uh, this piece of geometry that I would like to add a fillet to this edge, but by using the standard fillet, if I uh, pick this edge, note that I don't get a preview. The reason being, SolidWorks doesn't know how to bridge the fillet to both this face and this face. But if I were to use the face fillet tool and explicitly pick that face, note that I can either pick this face or this face and get two different results. The reason being is because I can explicitly define what face I want the fillet applied to. So here I can add that fillet, smaller fillet here, and finally fill at the edges and I'm able to uh, get the result that I need. Another use of the face fill tool is creating a constant width fillets. Here I have uh, these two cylinders intersecting each other at uh, a 45 degree angle. When I apply the constant radius fillet, note that the size of the fillet looks different. The radius is the same, but the size of the fillet uh, looks visually uh, different along its length. The variable radius fillet, I can kind of guess various fillet values along its length, or I can use a constant width fillet to create that transition. So here I have three separate bodies, and let's see what happens when I apply a constant size fillet at a quarter inch. We'll see that the fillet radius is the same along its length, but that the size of it looks different. We can evaluate that with the curvature tool. We see we have constant radius indicated by this uh, olive green color along its length. So here I'm going to add a, try and get a constant or constant size fillet here by adding a variable radius fillet. So I'm going to need to define various fillet uh, lengths or sizes along its length. It looks like I probably need to start this at a uh, quarter inch and then maybe this guy at uh, an eighth of an inch and perhaps I need a little more control in the middle to, uh, to get it to look the same size. 
perhaps uh, three-eighths of an inch. So it looks like it, it bunched out a little bit there. So this can be the downside of using the variable radius tool. I'm not in as much control. So if I really want that fillet to look the same size along its length, use the fillet tool and face fillet. And I'll pick these two items to fillet. And I have this uh, under drop down radial. I can pick cord width fillet. What this does is add a fillet that's constant in width along its length. So we'll add the fillet. And it looks the same size along its length. If I was to use the curvature tools, I can actually mouse over and we can see the radius of curvature changes along this fillet. So the radius of this is not constant. It's changing along its length, but SolidWorks is doing its best to have the fillet look the same size. So this can be another powerful option under the face fillet tool that's not available under the standard fillet tool. So the face fillet tool can be used to create um, more aesthetically pleasing blends between uh, different geometry. So thanks for joining us for this installment of Will It Fill It? Please follow the Demani Group on LinkedIn and YouTube where we'll be announcing new videos.